Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. It's uh, Wednesday today. I'm taking off tomorrow for Powell River for almost a week for a nice little break. And uh, I always find in Powell River that is a place where I need to go when I just need to completely rest. For some reason, I can completely rest in Powell River. Like I'll sleep like 12 to 16 hours a day when I'm there and then take naps in the afternoon. So <laughs> I get lots of really good rest while I'm there. So I'm looking forward to that. Also looking forward to seeing some friends while I'm there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I had to uh, get ready for that. So I just finished packing. I think I have everything packed. And if not, I don't even care. <laughs> um, I can always buy what I forgot. Who cares, right? <laughs> hey, Alyssa, how's it going? Hi, Andy. Hey, Marie. And uh, also been uh, doing my stuff wearing my high heel shoes because I need to practice walking in these things. I am just under eight weeks out from my competition date. Um, I officially um, registered yesterday, so I bought my membership and paid for the um, what I want to compete in. And also going to get a little video of it. I have to have a video of it. It's my first competition. I have to have a video of that. <laughs> I don't even care if it's ridiculous. So pretty excited about that. It's a done deal now. I'm in. There's no refunds. <laughs> hey, Joey, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to talk about um, body types and then the right kind of exercise program for your body type. Um, so you've probably heard about these, or maybe not. There's um, three body types, basically. Uh, there's the ectomorph, there's uh, mesomorph, and endomorph. Um, some people fall perfectly into one category. They, they fit that exactly. Um, others, like myself, we kind of fall in between two of the categories. Um, if you want to find out what your body type is, I have a link in my blog when I post this. It might be a couple of days before I post this in my blog, but there will be a link where you can take a little test to find out what body type you are or you can Google it. <laughs> Just a quick little test, a few questions, and they'll tell you what, um, what body type you are. Uh, myself, um, I wasn't surprised by the answer. I'm between mesomorph and endomorph, so I was actually already aware of that. Hey, Mark. Um, so I'll just talk about the three body types and also the best training for those body types. So the first one is the ectomorph. So the ectomorph is characterized by a thin build with relatively low muscle and low fat. Um, they have a really hard time putting on weight, whether that's muscle or fat. Um, they're easy, they lose weight really easily. Um, and it, that might sound good to those of us who have struggled with our weight. We might hate those type of people, but believe me, ectomorphs are just as frustrated with their inability to put on weight as we are with our inability to take off weight. So um, just because it looks like it, it's awesome, it's, it's not. I've talked to a lot of ectomorphs and they struggle just like anybody else. So if you are an ectomorph, you're going to want to adjust your training so that it supports muscle building. Hey Terry, how's it going? Um, so best training for ectomorphs. Uh, because ectomorphs can't tolerate a large amount of training, they really do have to start slow. Everybody should when you're new to a program, you want to start slow, but ectomorphs in particular, um, they can very easily end up being overtrained. Um, and also getting uh, feeling burnt out and um, frustrated. So they really have to start off slow, and which is it's frustrating to begin with because a lot of ectomorphs are wanting to put on muscle really quickly, just like those of us that struggle with weight want to take it off really quickly, but they can't go too hard too fast. Um, their workouts should be very basic and under one hour in length, so not any marathon workouts for those ectomorphs. Um, the workouts need to be changed regularly, so after four to six weeks on a program, you're going to want to change that program up to help to support um, building more muscle. And they really, really, really have to be consistent. So no skipping workouts. you got to be really consistent, really work hard. Just like someone who's struggling with their weight has to be really consistent with their training and their diet. Someone who's trying to put on weight, same thing, super consistent. And form is crucial. This is for everybody. This is true for everybody. But um, ectomorphs in particular, they tend to have weaker muscles. So if they go too heavy and they sacrifice form, they have a um, greater chance of injuring themselves. So um, really have to be careful. Really have to get that form down. So that's the ectomorph. Next one is the mesomorph. Uh, mesomorphs are characterized by an athletic and muscular build, um, relatively low amounts of body fat, and uh, they put on muscle 
quite easily. Um, they also lose fat relatively easily. That's where I differ from the typical mesomorph. I don't lose fat easily. <laughs> Doesn't want to come off. Uh, I have to work hard for that. So best training for the mesomorph. Um, they need to go high intensity. So this type of body can handle high intensity and high frequency because they have really good recovery systems um, and they have a stronger body type. So they can take those high intensity uh, workouts quite frequently. Um, trying different types of weight training techniques. So getting into more advanced types of weight training such as drop sets, rest pause training, negatives and forced reps and stuff like that. Um, if you're curious about any of that, send me a message and I can explain it better. I just I won't bother going into it today. That could be a, a topic for another day, all the different types of strength training. And um, as with any other body type, you got to change it up. So you want to change things, but change things, not just your, your program, change things like uh, the speed of your reps, the number of your reps, um, and that kind of thing. Right now, um, when I first started my program, I was doing pretty relatively steady type training. And now I have a three week um, rotation that I'm doing. So the first week I'm doing, um, you know, eight to 10 reps, fairly heavy weights. Second week, I'm going lighter in the weights and going uh, 12 to 14 reps of everything. And then the third week, which is Annihilation Week, my favorite week, <laughs> I start throwing in more advanced types of strength training and start really shocking my muscle. So I do that every week is something different and I keep rotating through. So I'm changing things up every single week. Um, that's not how I started when I was building my base. Um, I worked on the same program for, oh, probably must have been about six weeks or so I was working on the same program and just increasing my weight as I was able to. Um, so that's your mesomorph. The endomorph. Um, endomorphs are characterized by a rounder body. Uh, they put fat and muscle on relatively easily but they have a really hard time losing fat so that's where I kind of go into the endomorph area myself. I'm between endomorph and, and mesomorph. Um, and I have clients that are endomorphs and I hear their frustration about trying to lose weight and they feel like they, they can't, just can't do it um, but they can. You just have to adjust your training to suit your body type. Hey, Jason, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, Justin. Um, so best training for endomorphs. High intensity weight training. So endomorphs tend to be quite strong. So this doesn't mean that if you're brand new to exercise, you just jump into a crazy high intensity workout. Don't do that. You still have to work into it slowly. But you know that your body is going to be able to take on some really high intensity weight training. Uh, so this is great, like power lifters and stuff like that. Um, so they can handle these heavier weights, um, they can handle longer strength training workouts, their body reacts really quite well to that, that type of training. And then um, as they get more advanced, they can start adding those more advanced techniques of strength training um, that I mentioned above about uh, drop sets, rest pause uh, sets, negatives and forced reps and that kind of thing. So that's where things get really fun when you start doing these different um, weight training techniques. There's some pretty cool stuff out there. Um, so Justin, you're trying to become a physical trainer. Awesome. Um, if you want to uh, discuss it further, feel free to send me a message and we can chat about that a bit more and I can tell you the route that I took. Um, it is like the best job ever. <laughs> it's very rewarding. It's very fun. Um, so yeah, I'd love to uh, give you some more info if you're interested. Um, and also for the endomorphs, they want to go with short, intense sessions of cardio. Short and intense. So high intensity interval training, um, HIIT training. Um, so endomorphs generally don't have very good endurance, so they're going to benefit more from doing like a 15 to 20 minute um, HIIT cardio workout, high intensity interval training, than they would from trying to do a long steady state workout. Um, they need to be able to burn off the fat, so that's where the high intensity comes in for sure. And um, oh Justin, you're a model at the moment, nice, that's awesome. Um, sorry, I just saw that. I just had to read that. <laughs> hey, Chuck, how's it going? Hi, Angel. Um, so, yeah, the short workouts, the the, uh, the HIT workouts. So, when you do high intensity interval training, um, you get your biggest bang for your buck as um, for burning fat and also for revving up your metabolism for um, an hour or so after your workout. So, your metabolism keeps keeps humming at a pretty good level after your workout. Um, so, and I'm talking intense, like uncomfortable, like doing intervals where you're feeling like, I don't want to do this, I need to stop now, and you get to 30 seconds, and that's about as far as you can go with that interval, and then you recover, and then you repeat. So that's what's going to be the best thing for um, endomorphs, to uh, take off fat 
without burning off too much muscle. So that's trying to get that balance. Perfect thing that you want to achieve is you want to be able to put on muscle while taking off fat and that can be a really hard balance to get. So um, a lot of people really struggle with that. If you're eating too much, you're going to be putting on, you'll put on muscle, yes, but you'll put on extra fat as well. But if you're not eating enough and you're doing too much cardio, you're going to start stripping away your muscle. Your body will actually start to feed off of your muscle if you're overdoing it and not eating enough. So it is a delicate balance and it can be frustrating to get. So um, if this is what you're striving for, be prepared to try a few different things. Find out what works for you. When something start work, starts working for you, stick with that idea. Don't do the exact same thing day in, day out. Like You want to switch things up, but you want to kind of stick with the type of stuff that's working for you. For me, this is a surprise, um, I started getting the results I wanted when I cut out a lot of the cardio I was doing. So when I started training with my, my trainer, she told me that you know, I have to cut out that, some of that cardio, we need to build up some muscle. So I was like really thinking, oh, I don't know, it doesn't sound, doesn't sound right. Because <laughs> I've been doing a lot of cardio for a lot of years. And uh, when I first got into fitness, it was the cardio that I always focused on because I wanted to lose weight. And in, in my head, I was like, okay, more cardio, more cardio. And you know, there was when I first started teaching, I was teaching up to five classes a day, five. Uh, some spin classes, some boot camp classes, some step aerobic classes. So it was all cardio um, up to five a day, and I was just pushing myself and pushing myself. I was exhausted. Um, wasn't really thrilled with the results I was getting, but this was my job, so I just didn't really think about the results um, until I decided to train for this competition. And now it's time to put on muscle and lean out. And uh, my trainer had me eating more and exercising less, which in my head I thought, this can't work. <laughs> but I'm paying this woman, so I'm going to do what she tells me to do. And um, it did work. So I was surprised that, that that worked. So that was where I tweaked something and saw some changes in, in my results. So um, same for everyone. When, when you start um, doing programs, when you start doing a program, nutrition and fitness, uh, just because something works really awesome for someone, it doesn't mean it's going to work perfectly for you. So, you know, play around a little bit with it. And Justin, you're doing belly dancing. Awesome. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> That's awesome. That's something I've never done. I've never taught. I've never taken a class, but it's so cool. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how's it going? Hi, Hilda. Um, so that's it for today. So just a really quick kind of what the different body types are and the type of training that's going to work for them. If you want more information, please do feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to discuss it more. Um, this is another topic that my awesome friend Tina asked me to talk about. So there you go, Tina. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, and feel free to leave questions in the comments as well. Um, I'm happy to answer those. So I'm going to take off. Um, I just thought of something I forgot to pack. So <laughs> I'm going to go and pack that and uh, do some other stuff I need to do to get ready for tomorrow. And I uh, will see you in probably about a week. So I won't do these from Pal River because um, the Wi-Fi is too sketchy there. I try to use my parents' Wi-Fi. It never works properly. So I'm just going to take the week off and um, do a lot of sleeping. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys real soon. Take care.